I heard I should stop drinking coffee if I have bladder leaks. Is that true? Hi, welcome to our Ed Talks, little snippets of education to help you heal and feel empowered. I'm Justine Calderwood, pelvic floor physical therapist and certified birth healing practitioner. This may be true for you. Maybe coffee is an irritant for your bladder. Um, the only way to know is really pay attention. So there can be foods and beverages that can irritate the bladder, that can cause leaking, um, urgency, uh, overactive bladder where you feel like you're going all the time, or even bladder pain. So the only way to know is to actually pay attention to how your body reacts to certain foods and beverages. I wanna go over some um, bladder irritants. Now, for most people, not all of these items are gonna cause uh, irritation. But I wanna just run through the list, that way you can be on the lookout in your own diet. Some other things that may be irritating to your bladder besides coffee could be tea or even soda or other carbonated beverages. So even things like carbonated seltzer water, even though there's not, um, you know, it's not like soda exactly, but even the carbonation for some people can be really irritating. Alcohol might be irritating to you. So beer, wine, or liquor. Uh, things like citrus fruits or acidic fruits. So citrus fruits and um, juices. So orange juice, lemon, for some people, cranberry juice is also irritating. Um, strawberries can be an irritant things like uh, vinegar based sauces or vinegar itself, um, tomato based uh, sauces or tomato based products as well can be an irritant for the bladder. Some other things to look at are milk products, artificial sweeteners, chocolate. I know, right? That's so disappointing. <laughs> and then vitamins B and vitamin C. So things like, um, you know, a, a drinks that you're drinking, energy drinks, or even things that you think are good and natural and healthy for you may be, um, the or may be at the root of some of your irritation to your bladder. One um, little thing I want to say is if you are having bladder leaks or an overactive bladder, one of the first thing that people do, I find naturally, is that they start to limit their water intake because they feel like, well, if I don't have um, much, you know, liquid in my bladder, then I won't have that problem. But that in and of itself is a problem because what happens is you start to become a little dehydrated and then you get a concentrated um, urine in your bladder and that can actually be an irritant itself. So please don't limit your water intake. We need to stay hydrated and water is the uh, best form of liquid to be putting in your body. All right, if you would like to learn more, if you're here listening to this Ed Talk and you have an irritated bladder, you have pain or leaking or urgency or all of the above, please reach out here to us at The Healing Spot. We would love to answer any of your questions, help you um, take the next step into feeling better. You can head to our website, healingspotpt.com and choose whatever option works out the best for you. Thanks for watching this Ed Talk. Thank you.